<laughs> my hair looks awesome right now awesome i was wondering if the camera was going to actually be able to show how messy it was or if it was going to just look like a hair helmet on my head but so not that it really matters but my hair is like i had it shaved all the way around on the sides and then i had it like longer on the top and um I did that because I've had my hair super short for a really, 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 really long time, like years and years and years and years. But I, I do think I want to try to like grow it out again. But every time I try, it's like annoying because my sides grow way faster than the hair on the top of my head. And then it's like I have poofy hair all around the side and then like just like curls that like just sit on the top and it always looks really really weird and it's impossible to style. My hair grows really really sh really slowly so I can never get it to like get to a length where I can just throw it back in a ponytail or clip it back but I think I'm really gonna try this time. So the goal was to like I had it like shaved like buzz cut around the sides of my head when I did it and now my sides are like I don't know out to here now and the top of my hair is like out to here but like in a couple of months I think that my sides are still gonna outgrow the top of my hair Isn't that weird whatever anyway switch to a different camera so if it looks a little bit different from when I was filming the kitty earlier that's because I was using the iPhone then and this is my hair after it's showered dried and then just left to its own devices um Oh, sorry, somebody on like outside the window distracted me for a second there. Today though, like I feel kind of bad because I've been home alone all day long, which is has been nice. Like I mean, I love it when Courtney's at home and everything, but I've just been a quiet, peaceful house all day. I'm mean, not home alone. Like Troy's home, but he works overnights like I do, so he's sleeping right now and hasn't been bothering me or anybody. But uh, I mean, I did do a bunch. Like I did. A bunch of laundry and I did some cleaning in the kitchen because every single dish in the house was dirty um, I worked out I did take a shower like I said um, I've been watching like YouTube videos and playing on my iPad pretty much the entire rest of the day so despite the few productive things that I did today I haven't really done anything else and it's just like what's the point of keeping this video journal if I'm not gonna journal anything I'm doing on a regular basis Today is just kind of like, so today is actually like the culmination of my son's band camp. Like they're, so he's in the high school marching band and tonight they're performing a part of their show for the first time like because this is like the end of the second week of their band camp. And then in a couple of weeks they'll be doing the full show at um, their first football game that they're going to be playing at. And it's also going to be their concert performance piece for whatever they compete in. But we're not going to that tonight. We're actually going to go see 8th Grade, a movie that uh, looks really, really interesting to me. And I'm excited to see it. And don't worry, Simon's okay with it. He's not, like, hurt or upset. I'm a little, I am I feel a little bit bad because I would have liked to have filmed it and put it up. But we'll wait a couple of weeks to where we can get the entire show. And then we'll put University High School's performance up on the YouTube because they're a really good marching band. And I'm excited for that to go up. But that's not what we're going to do tonight. So, I don't know. I feel kind of bad, conflicted. He told me this morning that he really didn't care if we went to then we're not going but it's still kind of awkward as a mom like I don't know you know I'll see it I'll see it later but still I don't know it's just one of those things but he's okay with it so I guess I need to just roll the punches and be okay with it too. I'm gonna get ready to go out in public here soon but I am gonna go cook because I did marinate some meat earlier and I want to Nobody's gonna be home to eat this meal tonight, but I figured I'd make it and then like plate it up and pack it up and put it in the fridge for whoever does get to it when they get to it. And that's gonna be the other productive thing I do today. And then later, of course, we're like I said, we're gonna go see eighth grade. And I'm looking forward to that because I've been really enjoying going to these movies using the AMC stubs. I mean, it's just so many years we just didn't go to movies hardly at all and we just missed so many things that we wanted to see and now we're pretty much seeing just about everything we want to see and it's pretty excited pretty exciting and there's a bunch of movies that recently just came out that i want to see like christopher robin and eighth grade and the spy who dumped me and a few others so i'm looking forward to seeing them so we'll give a review on that movie um but yeah i really just felt like i wanted to check in and vlog i'm trying to like come up with 
plans for things to do. I mean, it's always been hard for us just because like number one, we only have one car, which works out for working and stuff, but it makes it difficult to go out and do things. I'm really on my own most of the time. And honestly, like despite how long I've lived here in Florida, like I know people, I have acquaintances, I talk to people I used to work with even online and stuff, but I don't really have any like friends to go out with and like don't think that that's like a feel sorry for me thing or that I'm unfriendable because it's really not the case. It's just I haven't honestly really made an effort. I mean I have some friends that I don't live near and they're great friends and we stay in touch and everything but um I don't know it's just whatever like ever since I got married it hasn't been a priority for me to go out and make new friends. I like the old friends that I have. I wish I lived near some of them. And hopefully, you know, I will meet people to like hang out with outside of the house. Like that's something that would be really nice to do. Like I'd like to join a book club and a running group and stuff like that. So maybe that'll lead to some more connections so that when Courtney is at work and I'm at home, I can go out and hang out with other people and do some stuff. Like I didn't even go for a walk today. I mean, I worked out, but I didn't go for a walk. So it's just like, ugh. I need to get out and do more. I mean, of course, I'll be working more soon. You know, I'll be working more hours and everything. And of course, there's always that. But yeah, I'm going to make more of an effort. And I'm more than willing. Like, I'm happy to go do things by myself, too. I have no problem doing things by myself. And I don't know why I'm not. I really need to just get out there and just do some things by myself. But that's what I have to say for now. I'm going to go cook and I'm going to show you guys what I make. So part one of today's dinner are these sliced potatoes that I'm going to put in the oven. I had a couple of t potatoes that I thought were on the verge of turning, but they actually look pretty dang good. And I covered them with some seasoned salt and they're going into the oven. And then I'm going to make some yellow rice. So it's going to be a little carb heavy tonight, but I really wanted to get those potatoes cooked. And I'm making this because I already said to everybody else that I would. And... Here is the mar oh, I don't want to dribble that on the potatoes. Marinated pork steaks that I'm gonna cook on the fork. So while I'm cooking tonight, I decided to have this little I have like this little sampler pack of strong bows, strong bows. And this one is the cherry blossom one, and it is pretty dang yummy. I think so far out of like the three different flavors I've tried, this one is my favorite. And I totally did make some muffins this morning, but I just didn't tell anybody. I guess I've been kind of productive, but I didn't share it with anyone. I haven't tried these yet, but a couple other people ate them and said they were good. So I'm assuming that they're good. And there is the finished product. So it's applewood smoke flavoring marinade with like garlic and onion powder and soy sauce and a little bit of brown sugar. So that's what that is on the pork and then we got some yellow rice and some potatoes and then there's leftovers packed into a lunchbox for Courtney tomorrow and I know there's nothing green on the plate I guess everybody's just gonna have to take a multivitamin today which you know we should be doing anyway but there will be vegetables tomorrow I promise haha <laughs> never mind forgot I had this salad on the side so now we got some vegetables years of fear, monsters and mayhem. Pretty excited for this one. It's like our third house of the night. Just kept on going through. So I'm practicing the zoom on this computer, trying to get it to focus, and it's really hard to hold it still. Because one of the things that I've always had issues with in this camera is like zooming and then focusing. Of course, I can't even hold still enough. I'm zooming in on my pin board. Some princess pins here. Now I'm going to go back to regular focus. Back, or regular. I don't know. That was pretty dang shaky, wasn't it? But still better. This camera's a few years old. It's a Coolpix S9900 and Nikon. And I don't know. I've still been trying to figure out how to use it. And 
Zooming has always been one of my biggest issues on this camera. I zoom and it just goes completely out of focus and gets completely blurry. So, I don't know. Let me know what you think of this. What if I just stood here and waved like all night long and I never said anything? So we did go to... My hair all looks awesome still. I'm looking at myself in the thing because... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> my hair was bad earlier. My hair is bad now. So we did go see 8th Grade, the movie that we went to go see tonight. And it was really good. Like, it was a totally average American girl. Um, I don't really want to give anything away in that one because I actually kind of liked it. But, uh, um, yeah, it was just like a movie of a girl transitioning from middle school into high school. And, um... Yeah, just showing that just be yourself and everything will be okay. Uh, I liked it. It was a good movie. It was really good. Yeah. No weird. Yeah, nothing weird about it. No twists or turns or... I don't know. It was, just, it was good. It was, you know, an independent film. I, I liked it. Um, if you're looking for something different to watch or you like indie films, there you go. Go watch 8th Grade. It was actually really good just telling a story the way it is without any Hollywood embellishments. I really, really like that. It was really good. I'm really tired right now, so I can't really keep my thoughts organized. Now, I'm not looking at the screen this time, which is right here. I'm looking at Courtney, who's down over there. Mm -hmm. So I keep looking away from the lens, but uh, um, yeah. So <sighs> earlier I like took a clip of my kitty with a different camera and it was really cute, but that's actually not gonna go in this video. So I'm just letting you know in case you're actually a fan of Luna and nothing else in the vlog. And you're like, but you said at the beginning that it was gonna have the kitty in it and it didn't. So I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, I'm tired. I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to bed or something to that effect. I actually really need to stay up late tonight because I work overnights and I need to prepare for my overnight tomorrow. But anyway. Neither here nor there. Have a good night. My kitty's been on my lap every moment I've tried to sit down all this morning long. Well, yeah. And I've been awake since like four. So she's been cuddling with me. And it's like noon now. So all the last eight hours she's been following me around when I was walking. And then every time I sat down, she was climbing into my lap. It's like I have a baby. And I know, having a baby really is different. I've raised three of them. <laughs> I know this is not like having a baby, but she's my baby now. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes, I was having lunch in bed. You can see my slice of pizza sitting right there. Watching TV and cuddling with the kitty. Who's going back to sleep again.